Assalamu alaikum, I'm Pavel and I welcome you all to the fifth video of the calculus video tutorial series. In this video, we will learn about infinite limit and rational function. In the previous video, we already learned about the infinite limit. Now we will learn about rational function and the application of infinite limit in rational function. So let's start with rational function. A rational function is a function that is the ratio of two polynomials. If we have a function f of x which is equal to p of x and divided by q of x. So here p of x is a polynomial of the variable x and q of x is another polynomial of the same variable that is x. So in this particular case we can call this function a rational function. Now we will see the application of infinite limit in this type of functions that is rational functions. There might be three cases here for infinite limit that is for the first case the degree in the numerator that is degree of p of x that might be less than the degree of q of x. In the second case the degree of p of x might be equal to the degree of q of x and the third case is uh, obvious that is the degree of p of x might be greater than degree of q of x. Okay. So what do we mean by degree? I hope you already know but then uh, let me repeat once again. The degree is the highest power of the variable in the polynomial. Okay. So let's start with case 1. If the degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x. So in this particular cases, uh, how can we calculate the limits to infinity? So let's start with some examples. If we have limit x tends to infinity and in the numerator, let's assume that we have x squared plus twice x and let's take something bigger in the denominator, say x cube minus 6x. So how can we solve this type of problems, okay? I can very easily say the answer within just one second and I will reveal that particular trick to you as well at the end of the discussion. But at first we will see how to solve this type of problems in details, okay? So in the second line, what would we do is that we will divide all the terms in the numerator and in the denominator with the highest power that we have in the numerator okay so the highest power of x is uh, 2 that is x square so we will divide all the terms with x square let's do it if we divide x square with x square we get 1 plus uh, 3 6 divided by x square so we will get 3 divided by x if we divide x cube with x square we will end up with x and minus 6x divided by x square which is obviously 6 divided by x. Now what happens? We already know the concept that if we have limit and the variable is going towards infinity, either positive infinity or negative infinity, we know that c divided by x to the power n is equal to 0. I hope you already know this concept. If you don't have any idea of this concept then I would like to request you to watch the previous video where I discussed this particular concept, okay? So as you can see, this particular part, 3 divided by x, this is exactly this one. You see x tends to infinity and instead of c, you have 3 and x to the power n and you have x, that is the value of n is 1 here. So this part will become 0, okay? And again, 6 divided by x, this is exactly the same as this one. So this will also be 0. So we will have 1 in the numerator and x in the denominator. So what happens? We are getting the same concept once again. You see 1 divided by x. So this is also going to be 0. So finally the result will be equal to 0. Very easy, isn't it? Let's solve another problem. And some of you might have already guessed the trick but then I will reveal it after solving this problem, okay. Say we have limit x tends to negative infinity this time and you have 
say 4x square minus 7x and you have say 5x cube plus 9x let's solve this problem so in the second line what would we do minus infinity we will repeat the same thing that we learned in the previous problem that we will divide all the terms with the maximum power that we have in the numerator okay why numerator uh, it's not like that in all three cases we will divide with the numerator that is the maximum power of numerator we will uh, divide with the degree which is less okay I mean we will consider the degree of p of x or degree of q of x which is less so in this particular case the degree of p of x is less than that of q of x that's why we are considering the degree of numerator okay so let's do it we divide 4x square with x square we get 4 minus 7 divided by x and here we will get 5x plus 9 divided by x now for limit extends to negative infinity we know we will get the same result you see limit extends to minus infinity c divided by x to r n is equal to zero so i hope that you already know this concept from the previous video so this one will be zero this one will also be zero so we will end up with limit extends to infinity 4 divided by 5x so we will end up with this part only because this is zero this is going to be zero now this part is also same as this concept so you see a constant here and you have x to the power n and you can ignore this part because 4 divided by 5 this is going to be a constant in the numerator so you have a positive power of x that's why this is going to be 0 as well so i hope you can already guess what would be the answer in some uh, in such cases so whenever you have a degree of p of x which is less than degree of q of x and the limit is going to be infinity or negative infinity in this particular cases you are always going to get the result as zero so this is the hidden trick that i was talking about so you can write it down that whenever the degree of p of x that is the degree in the numerator is less than that of the degree in the denominator the result is going to be zero okay so i hope this concept is pretty clear to you in the next video i will discuss about the other two cases that is uh, what would happen if the degree of p of x is equal to degree of q of x and i hope you understood all the concepts that i discussed in this video if so please like this video put your opinion in the comment section and please subscribe this channel and for more videos stay with this channel take care allah hafiz